Okay, good morning. Uh, we will <coughs> continue the SolidWorks lesson. Uh, you will be getting an assignment uh, very soon based on the things I am doing now. So I will just show the assignment uh, we are going to do. Uh, so you will get something like this to design. This is a, a vehicle uh, wheel rim. So this will take some time to design. So normally it will take around four hours to do this uh, design part only. Then uh, you will be asked to uh, design the bolt also. So these kind of work we are going to expect from you at the end of uh, next week, uh, at the end of sixth week. So then I will ask you to do a simulation for this uh, rim. So we haven't done a, done simulations yet. So we are going to apply some uh, air pressure to the rim and see how the stresses and uh, if there is a failure or how the stresses are going to be dist uh, distributed. So still I haven't done the, uh, the all the theories necessary to do this assignment. So uh, remember that uh, this kind of uh, assignment will be given as the uh, model. So you better learn SolidWorks uh, pretty well to do these kind of designs. So still i haven't done all the uh, necessary uh, theory parts uh, so otherwise no point of uh, doing these uh, lectures if you cannot do these kind of designs so we, uh, we will do we will continue the uh, tutorial so last week uh, we stopped somewhere here so i piloted these areas then uh, we have to do what <clears throat> we have to design this uh, small bracket here so that that is going to be a uh, design as a separate sketch so we will start this now <coughs> this, uh, this is the sketching side, so I will select that first as the working plane, go to sketch mode, <coughs> then uh, you want to enable the hidden lines, so here uh, I will not enable hidden lines, I will put like this, then we can design this area. So here we, we have a circular shape, R is 20. So I will start with the circle here. Circle center may, is here, so it's not, it may be the same center for this uh, arc shape also. So I will take the same center and we will put the dimension here. It is 14 diameter. Then uh, we have two circular parts here, and uh, this is also 14. 14, and from here it's 14, and this is uh, R is 6.
<coughs> this circular center is exactly on the on the circumference here. So make sure that it is uh, exactly there. So if I zoom in, you can see it's not exactly coincide with this uh, line. So I have a, I have to do that correctly. Okay, take this out for the TV. Coincidence symbol appears, that means it's coincided, so no problem with that. <coughs> now, we have to trim the unnecessary parts. We can mirror this, this side. So I will mirror it. Better you draw a center line before mirroring. Next, uh, I have to uh, trim the things. Now here, there's a small issue with my circle here. It's, it should go down a little bit here. So I I didn't actually I haven't I have made the mistake here by taking the set common center here. So this is a mistake I have done. So I have to remove this coincident. Uh, I will do it from the beginning, I have a problem. So, I hope you understood what is the problem here. Problem here is, uh, this, uh, this circle doesn't share the same center here. You have to make sure there is a 20 millimeter gap here. So, you better draw a circle without taking the common center. Don't take this center. Draw it somewhere here, like this. Then, uh, we put the dimension again. This is 40. Then from here to here it's 20. So can we put a dimension like that? We can't put a dimension from here to here 20. So we better trim the circle. We can use the we can use this convert entities tools and convert this line boundary to a line. So it became a line here. Now if I can in this area this way. Then we will put a dimension from here to here. It's true. So better we do that this kind of a thing and you can see it's going here and there. So we better draw a center line and make sure it's not moving here and there. So this, this, these two points should be symmetrical around this center line. Now we can adjust 20. Now it's okay. So we, we have to do that kind of a, we have to use that kind of a method otherwise there will be problems so the problem here is this circle is not sharing the same center of this arc so i early i took the same center so it will give me problems so you have to draw a circle somewhere else and put the 20 adjust this 20 make sure these two points are symmetrical then it's okay uh, i hope you understood that then we can uh, draw the other things uh, we will just draw somewhere here Circle, another circle, and uh, with the dimensions we have, this is working. This big circle is here. <coughs> Small one is like a four diameter. So this is diameter 4, this is good. Now I can mirror. Now I can check.
this is the uh, design we want. So you can also try that. And uh, the thickness is uh, we have to look at. We have to look at the previous drawings. Thickness will be. Uh, this side thickness is given as five millimeters. So if you do it do it correctly, we can extrude this uh, sketch. Five millimeters. This. So just check whether you are okay with this. So I try it and let me know if you have any questions. I will proceed the uh, session. So next uh, we have to design these uh, side areas. So we have a small sketch for that. So we will do that now. This is the sketch I have to do. So we can select any, any side and do this. I will select this. So if it is rotating, don't worry. Uh, sometimes it may rotate, so you can uh, you try. You can try to select the side, but if it is not coming, you can just try to again uh, flip it like this. So if it is uh, not this, this is the back side. So there will be problems like this, so you don't worry about that so much. So if you want to enable the hidden lines on, then you can see the areas clearly. So, so this is from the back view, but uh, I can draw that shape with the back view even. Uh, if, if, even though you, you see the back view, you are actually drawing it in the front frame because you selected the front frame. So <coughs> uh, I will draw this sketch. No need to draw all these boundary lines. Since we have the boundary lines already uh, coming from the others. So if you just look at this side, uh, this is the situation. So I will rotate this. It is not working this side, just again rotate this side. And <coughs> we can draw this one. So if you want, you can use the boundary tool here, convert entities and convert this line to a uh, this boundary to a line. So I converted that to a line. Then we have this 22. So we, have, we can draw a line somewhere here. It is all linear to this virtual line here. So if you want, you can draw a virtual center line here. Or just draw a full line and trim it later. There are a lot of ways, so with data I can trim this area. Then we can draw a vertical line. Then we have this arc shape. So before we adjust the arc shape, we can adjust the other measurements. That's easy. So we will have 22 here from here to. This top point it should be 47. So here uh, there's a coincident happen. So we have to take 
की साउथ वाली टीम है एक एक बस I put all these linear dimensions, then we can focus on this uh, n. So the center is here, but center is not sharing. I think it's not the same center here. So we will just draw a rough sketch and see. Uh, we can use three point arc method. First point here, second point here. That point I don't know actually. I will put somewhere here. Then uh, this value will be. Uh, here there is a problem with this line length. I, we don't know this line length. So we have to look at some other sketches whether they give these other information. So I will go back to the very first uh, drawing. 22, 47, 15. It is also 15. Uh, this 10. So uh, uh, I think they are taking the center here, the virtual center is there. So we will uh, try to take the virtual center somewhere here, intersection of these two lines. So the center should be here. Uh, they're having problems. So I will take the center here, otherwise there will be problems. So if you look at this diagram, center is uh, the intersection here. So I will take that as a center, center point up from here to there. So this is the second here. I think this is correct now. Yes. So you take the center here. So if you are not clear about some drawings, normally take the intersection of these horizontal and vertical lines and take the center. This is not the center as I see. Uh, automatically, you are later when you adjust this to 10, this center will move here. So that's what happened here. So earlier you take center. Uh, as the intersection of these, hori these horizontal and vertical lines and uh, draw an arc then when you adjust this to 10 automatically the center will move here so I, I do it again and show you what I did so I had something like this so I have doubt of getting this center so what I did was I drew a vertical line here horizontal line here and I got a virtual center then I use center point arc method anyway we can't move this 15 so we have to go something like this so i do something like this because 15 is unchanged this side i i have a freedom to change then they say this is 10 so i have to give this as 10 but when i do this way what happens mm -hmm. my arc center moves here because this is a fixed point we are giving this 10 and automatically this this arc will uh, expand so he will try to move the center because we didn't coincide this center and this point 
so that's what happens so automatically the center moves to a somewhere else then uh, we can trim the unnecessary part here that's what i did and uh, we are getting uh, the sketch correctly now so i hope you understood now we don't need these center lines anymore after the construction work so we don't need this you want to keep it now it's a fully defined step so uh, now we can apply the extrusion feature so extrusion height is 15 here so we will do that now the sketch is actually drawn on the other side in my view so we will extrude it this sketch 15 so if you want you mirror the mirror the other side also you can do that way that way also mirror it and do it uh, or else I can apply 3D mirror. So here there is a small issue with my drawing. Uh, this this side height is uh, higher than this side. So this is much more higher than this side. So I have to check with these sketches here. Then What I'm saying is these two heights are not same. So I took it as same heights. It's not the same height. is five so that's the problem i think all are not in the same height so this is five uh, so this should be this area should be five so that exclusion i made a mistake I have made a mistake uh, in the uh, sketch here, so I will do this uh, as five. the sketch. in my uh, extrusions so better we proceed without uh, correcting the mistake sometimes it may collapse so 
I have to draw a line here and do that. Uh, so I didn't do that in the correct manner. So I hope you understand what my problem is. Uh, that it looks okay. This sketch, this extrusion is the problem. When I do this way, there's a conflict happen. So, then we do. I will keep that error as it is and move forward, otherwise there will be a lot of time wasting. So I hope you understood the problem. Uh, there are three different heights here. This side is 5, this, the both sides are 10. So I took everything as, uh, as a single uh, exclusion and did it. So without drawing these other lines here, I, I completed my drawing. So what I did was I didn't draw these lines. So that, that's the problem in my sketch. So we will proceed with the error, otherwise it will take a lot of time to correct this. Without, uh, you cannot, you can uh, rectify this error, but uh, it will take some time. So we will proceed with this, with this error. So I have to have uh, another uh, part in this side, so we can use the 3D mirror. So there's a tool called mirror, 3D mirror. So I have to mirror, uh, this feature so we we can use the center plane center plane is here and the feature to mirror is uh, feature to mirror is this last extrusion so you can quickly get a 3d mirror of this uh, part of this uh, feature so i am somewhere here now so you can see the see my uh, what is the problem with my model and the given model here so that there's a height problem here. so this is 5 this is 10 so that's the problem in my sketch you can see that uh, height problem is appearing so otherwise there is no other issue only the height problem is the uh, main problem I am getting. So this is 5, this, this is 10, that's, that can be seen here. Then uh, we will apply the shell feature. So I have to remove the material of this area. So we will apply the shell feature. Shell thickness is it's given as 1 millimeter shell thickness. So I will apply shell here. It's one millimeter. You can select this sum and get the preview on. If the preview is appearing, normally the shell tool works. So is it working? Shell inward is not working, I suppose. So it's there's not there's a problem with the shell inward. There are problems with selling. Uh, we will see what is they are doing.
so i think my problem is with it with, with this height uh, the shoe is coming so for the time being i will omit that one and i will do the shell for the outward so you can do it correctly and see whether it's inward is happening so outward is automatically happens so shell outward is working so this is the outcome i am getting then uh, what they have done is they have drilled the holes so these are uh, small things to do so we can quickly drill the hole uh, this side 16 mm so this one for the sketches so this center to cut up to next i will put up to next not blue or up to next then uh, we can do do these holes also so you can try that uh, by yourself then uh, we can apply fillers in these areas so fillers Fillet thickness is given. Radius is given. Fillet radius. You can also add feature fillet uh, features to the model with radius two millimeter and one millimeter using fillet texture. So we have two millimeter and one millimeter fillets. Uh, so you can do this and see. So when you look at these kind of uh, sketches, these sketches are without the fillers. So if you add, add the fillers, there will be a double line going here. So it's going to be difficult to visualize, read the drawings. So when you present the drawings, normally uh, you have to remove the fillers and present the machine drawing. So at the end, uh, all these sketches don't have fillers. So at the end, we can apply fillers uh, like this. Otherwise, if you take a drawing from these filleted models, there will be sort of uh, double lines appearing in the drawings. So I can apply the fillets from the fillet tools here. It says one millimeter and two millimeters. We have done these uh, areas. So this is one millimeter. If you want to select this entire face, This way we can apply the fillers to the model. Uh, I think it's two millimeters, so you can easily adjust the radius. So you do it and see any questions let me know about the tutorial so i i primarily made the mistake of taking the heights different heights same heights here otherwise uh, other things are okay so if you can manage this kind of a uh, model you are quite uh, okay with solid dogs up to now so any questions let me know i will give you some time to complete this So if you want, you can mirror without doing this side layers. Without doing this mirror, you can apply all the fillers in this model and get a mirror. So that's that can be done. So if I just suppress this. Now after completing this side with the fillers, get the mirror. That will save your time. So we will apply the mirror now. 
3D mirror. Uh, plane is this plane. The features to mirror is this box X2 and these fillers. So with the fillers, I'm getting the mirror now. So it's easy for me. Uh, so it doesn't allow me to do that. Later we will get it. Now get the fill mirror of the fillers. So I will take the mirror of the fillers. Get the mirror plane. Sometimes we will not allow you to do whatever you like. So you have to try and see. Now, uh, still not allowed. No, we didn't allow me to do that mirror of the fillets. So you have to do fillets again manually this side also. Cannot fillet a tangent length. So there are problems with the fillets uh, when you try to mirror it. As I showed, showed you in the assignment what we are getting, actually I am trying to rephrase the assignment according to your curriculum. So there are some certain keywords to be put in the assignment. So that's, what, that's where I am struggling. So in this assignment also, we are checking a lot of areas in SolidWorks. So you better learn the software, otherwise there will be problems with the assignment. So we will uh, give you two assignments this is one assignment coming soon so i haven't done all the theories still to complete this kind of assignment so you will be better ready with this kind of work So I ask you to try these things at home, these simple tutorials. Any questions, let me know. I won't be able to go to every tutorial available in the syllabus in our, in our slides. So you better try those things by yourself. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know. So we have to complete one more theory under in chapter seven. So chapter seven, we talk about the hall tools. Then we talk about uh, fillers then all are 3d fillers 3d chamfers last week we discussed these things then uh, we discuss about the shell tool so we use the shell tool now in this model then we have to look at the wrap tool also so the wrap tool talks about uh, printing some 3d fonts in the model so if you if you need to print a 3d uh, label around uh, say bottle so here I want to wrap that uh, wrap your name here. so how can you do these kind of things in solid first? so that's the next uh, thing we need to know sometimes I will ask you to write your name uh, in the assignment like this way. so we will look at how to do these kind of things this is the last uh, rule under chapter 7 any questions about the tutorial this one. So I actually didn't complete uh, the entire tutorial. So if you want to apply the fillets uh, for the other edges, just select the base or the edges. By like this way, SolidWorks it also helps you to get the other edges quickly. So better you use these helps also. And tangent propagation is on. So sometimes he will try to get the chain, entire chain. So he's trying to get the chain. So this way we can apply the 3D fillers and finish our problem. So this side is a hollow surface.
Now, if I want to apply some uh, name here, or here even, how can you do it? Now, you have 2D uh, fonts, 2D text. You can sketch text on a face, curves, edges, and sketch edges. So, we can apply the 2D uh, fonts. 2D, we can draw 2D text and uh, make it a 3D text uh, later. So, how can I do it? So, if I want to apply 2D text, here we just uh, select the face and go to sketches. Say we will. Now, I am getting the uh, fonts. Say if I just type like this. Normally, it will appear on the, it will start from the origin. So, it, it was started from the origin normal. So, if you want, you can make it reverse. There are a lot of ways, this way, or you can make it italic, bold. So, you can select this thing and make it italic, or bold. So, a lot of uh, options appearing. But if you want to type in it in a certain place, you cannot do this way. You have to go to sketches and draw the place you want to draw reference. Say I just take it like this. I want to type something here. So I will draw a reference. Say from here, this is the line I, I have to use as the reference. Otherwise, automatically the text will be typed here. So I hope you, are, you understood what I am saying. If you just go to this tool, it will type here or in the origin. So if I, if I want to type it in somewhere else, I have to draw that reference and go to sketch, uh, text tools and use that reference. Select that line. Now type. It will be typed there. So you can see it's typed in there and it's upside down. You can make it adjust this way and you can make it center to the line. A lot of things can be done. From these things. Then uh, it's done. Now, if I want to make it a 3D, now this is a 2D sketch. So you can go to features and use the extrusion tools. Now, when I try to use the extrusion tools, you have to make sure all the lines are, all the fonts are close. So this is too much. They I will have too many. So. We can do this. So this is uh, uh, one of the ways of applying a 3D text. So I will make it a little bit less in height, say one minute. So if you want, you can cut it also. Cut down the material in this side and have a follow in here uh, using the word, word called vowel. So, any questions about this, let me know. Now, if you want to color this, I want to color this uh, font in red. How can I do it? Not the entire model, only this word. So, if you want to color this entire model, one way is you can apply a material. So, if you apply a material, say I will apply this alloy, 1060 alloy. You, you will get that material color. So it's, if it is not visible, I will apply say copper. This is the material color. So everyone will get that same material color. So if you cannot, you cannot have different materials in different places because this is a single part. So if you want to have different materials, you have to draw different parts and assemble. So here, if I want to have a color in this area, if I want to paint this area, you can just click on this. And there's a tool called Appearance. This tool. So, Appearance tool. So, we can come here and get the color patch, color swatch. Take some time to load in my machine. My machine is somewhat slow because of this uh, Zoom recording. Uh, please wait a little bit. So you got the color. 
search. So what I did was I just click on this and got I will do it again. You can click on the page like this and go to this appearance tool. So under appearance tool, I, I have applied copper for the entire body. So you can click on this small color ball and you will be directed to this like this. So if you select this kind of a yellow color, everything will be in yellow. So my material is actually copper. So I painted it in yellow. So if you want, you can paint like this. So entire things are getting colored. So if you don't want to happen this way, you can delete this one and select a face, select a surface, better you select a surface and uh, take a color. This way, select face and apply a color to this face. So I selected the yellow and selected the face here and applied yellow. So that's how you paint the model. So this is like random. This is called random. Uh, your actual model is in copper, but I have a paint layer in uh, yellow. So if you want to color this. Uh, fonts we just select the font face here and go to this appearance tool here edit polish copper and clear this area select the face so here it is a platform so i can select the face i just select the color and click on this so you can do this way even so you can just try these things and see how it goes these are not mandatory things, this is just to make the drawing, make the model a beautiful one. So, you can apply whatever the colors you like, even from this uh, set of tools, I can apply the colors. I will show that also in a little while. So, you can just click on this face, go to appearance here, go to this edit polish one, and clear this. Uh, Select a color you like and select the face and click on the face. So that way we can color it. Or else there is a direct tool here. You can go to appearance here and select something like lights here or glasses, gloss glasses. Now if I want I can drag and drop this. glass appearance to this model so i will try to do it so you can see how it works entire body or the shell or the face only likewise you can do these sales so now i have applied a glass appearance so you can apply colors or is actually you can go to this area say fabric cloth if I want, I can make it like a something like this canvas or this one. So you can just drag and drop this to the area, entire body can be in canvas cut. So these kind of things are quite capable in SolidWorks. Better you do these kind of things and make the drawing a nice work. So, stones are available. Brick. So, uh, just try these things and see. Uh, these are not my. These are not. Uh, very very important but it makes your model nice uh, so we will uh, we, we were here we were uh, using this world tool here so if i want to apply uh, i will undo these things
Now, if I want to write something on top of this curved surface, we cannot uh, use this kind of a simple method. So we we, we have to uh, get a plane somewhere here and draw the 2D sketch and project it onto this one. So we will use that theory you now. So I have to draw a plane. Yeah, I will just uh, draw an offset plane. So understand we, this is a curve, so you cannot write on this one. So we have to draw it on a separate plane. So I will apply the plane tools, it's still it's loading. So we have to have something like this uh, offset plane and select this pen and go to sketches make it perpendicular to the screen now i have to draw a reference line okay, I, I want to draw something somewhere here assume we have to draw somewhere here. so we just do a reference line and go to sketches now uh, fonts and relate this as the reference and draw it So we uh, can do this way. Just do much. Uh, I'll take this word. So this. Now I do that uh, word on top of this plane. Now we can use the wrap tool available here. So the wrap tool, wrap close sketch contours onto a face. So we will use that one face here. This is the face I want to project. You can see the wrap tool how it works. So it projects onto that face. And I can have emboss, deboss, or stripes. So emboss also you can have now your thickness for the emboss. <coughs> so two millimeter emboss. <clears throat> so I have uh, I have get, I'm getting a small issue because of this uh, word is too much because it's going inside so that's why we are getting this kind of an error. Otherwise it's quite okay. So I will try to uh, reduce the word size. It should be open. Go to uh, wrap features, exit from here, then the wrap tool will work. So, this is the sketch I want to this is the plane. So, go to wrap features again, exit from the sketch first, and use the wrap tool, a plane or a base on which case is close control. So, this is the sketch. Again, use the wrap tool and project to this. This time I'm not getting error because it's not going inside here. So this is how we wrap the features. So if you want, you can have a deboss also. Deboss may penetrate through the model. So this is now penetrating. Once it's penetrating. Because the thickness is uh, two millimeters, so if you have one millimeter thickness, it may not penetrate. 
thickness. Still, it's penetrating. Thickness is too much. Now it's not penetrating. You can see how it works. So this is uh, reverse. Embers is the other side. Adding material. Or else we can have scribe. Scribe is uh, just uh, like without any thickness you can project. So this is scribe. So if you want you can color this uh, O letter O whatever the letter you like from this tool that we discussed earlier. Go to the colors. Uh, clear this and I want only the face here get the color and click on this inside this way I can make it a color apply a color so I hope you understood how to use the wrap tool any questions uh, let me know so the wrap tool can be used in uh, normally we are using in a curved surface these things we don't need to use the wrap tool we can just write on the face and next to or cut but in these areas we can't uh, normally write so we have to write on a plane separate plane like this and project to this curve using the wrap tool then uh, you can apply and most details or stuff and if you want you can color like this also. any questions uh, let me know you can try it and see Here 791. So, what they have done is uh, how to get a bottle, something like this. We can apply the reward. So, you can draw the section of the bottle like this very easy section of the bottle and revolve it. Then, they have filleted the bottle, then apply the shell. So, if you suppress the shell, this is a solid bottle, uh, not a hollow bottle. So when you apply a shell, it's a hollow bottle. Then they, what they have done is they created the offset plane. And on top of the offset plane, they have written this word calcium technology. Then we can use the wrap tool here and select the sketch here. Now when you select the sketch, it's uh, disappearing wrap tool. You enable the wrap tool again and select this space. That's all. So it will wrap the word along around that bottle. You can have whatever the method you like. So this is uh, how we wrap tool works. So if you want to color this, just select the letters. Uh, and with this appearance tool here, clear this area, not for the entire body, only for the face here. Select the color you like and select the word. Say one by one, we can select. Any questions about chapter 7 uh, before I start chapter 8?
Okay, so if you don't have questions, we will uh, move on to chapter eight. Uh, chapter eight talks about uh, more about the three D mirror tools, three D linear pattern tools, three D circular patterns, three D rib features, and how to take a section uh, and how to change the display states. So I'm talking about three D mirror now. Uh, we have done this a little bit earlier. Uh, we didn't go into depth. So I'm going to deep in this uh, 3D mirror tool and show you how it works. And we will look at how to apply 3D linear tools, 3D circular tools, uh, 3D circular tools, and rip tools, and uh, how to get the sectional view of 3D models. And uh, this one also, this is not really important. Uh, you can look at that even. So, and we will do a tutorial. Uh, this tutorial you can do at home. I will try to do the second tutorial with you uh, today. So we are going to look at this tutorial also in the class. This kind of a tutorial. So this tutorial has rip features. This tutorial has 3D circular features. So we will uh, start the theory first. I will uh, start with the 3D mirror. So we, I will take this model and show you how the 3D mirror works. So I am taking chapter 8 part files. Uh, first one, 8.2. So uh, somebody has designed this uh, part half way. So this one was not in this, not wasn't designed. It wasn't designed in this area. So if you want, you can do it in a in a two D sketch and may, uh, make a three D extrusion. Or else you can complete this side fully and apply a three D mirror. So better you do 3D mirror rather than using 2D mirror. So when you do 3D mirror, there are a lot of options at you. So I will show you what are the options now. So I'm using the 3D mirror and take, first we have to take the symmetric plane. So when you do the drawings, make sure your drawings are symmetric. Then it's easy in the next operations, coming operations. And here we have three ways of getting a 3D mirror. One, one is feature to mirror. Second one is faces to mirror, third one is bodies to mirror. So here I can't use bodies to mirror because this is single body. There's not, no, there are no two bodies here, this is single body. This is like a human uh, body. So you don't have se another body se separately. So I, anyway, I can't use this tool. I may use the faces to mirror, but when I try to use the faces to mirror tool, I have to do, select all these faces uh, covering this feature. So there will be problems in this one because I have hidden faces also. Uh, here inside there is another face. I can't see it. So better you use the features tool here. So what happens if I use the features? Is, uh, you, we will try to select the features. Feature tools. So here if I select this one. You will see a preview appearing. If I take the full preview, full preview is this without the fillers. So if you just press OK, this is the filler uh, 3D mirror I'm getting in the other side because I selected only the boss extrusion here. So if you just look at this boss extrusion, it's a rectangle square. Later we have we have we have applied the 3D fillers. So these fillers I didn't select. So that's why I didn't get the fillers in this side. So if you just come here and edit it again, you can add those, add those fillers also. So I will add, add that filler, uh, only this filler. Then my appearance is this. So you can see, I have a lot of flexibility in this 3D mirror too, not like the 2D mirror. 2D mirror, I have, anyway, I'm getting the same shape as the parent. 3D mirror, I have options to select the Select. So here I didn't select the hole. So you can uh, anyway omit the hole, or you can get the hole into the child also. So now it's fully done. So 3D mirror tool is much more flexible than the 
2D. So normally we encourage uh, everyone to use 3D tools, 3D mirror, 3D fillers, uh, rather than using 2D fillers, 2D mirror, 2D uh, samples. So I hope you understood how the 3D tool works now. Uh, we will look at more examples. Now there is another example given here. Uh, this is called, uh, this is again a mirror. So if you look at, this is the original feature, parent. Uh, if you take an actual mirror, actual mirror should come like this. So the parent is here, the child is this side. Actual mirror should come like this. But in SOLIDWORKS, if you want, you can get a mirror something like this. This is not actually a mirror, this is like a propagation of this feature. So if you want, you can get this kind of a shape or actual mirror like this. So I will show you how it works in the next example. Uh, 8.5 this one uh, so if I uh, come here and apply 3D mirror again the same theory take select the plane features so this is the cut feature so when I select the cut feature here normally you can see the mirror it's not actually a mirror it's like a uh, linear pattern extended so how this is working so if you want to get actual mirror, you have to apply this option, geometry pattern. So you have, if you want to get the exact geometry in this side, click this button. So now you can see how it works. If you just untick this, you are getting something like a linear pattern. Okay. So how this is working in SOLIDWORKS, you may be curious about that. So I didn't, uh, I just selected the button on. I just selected this button. Automatically, this is changed. But uh, this is in behind there's a theory. So if you just uh, unpick this, this is the appearance, this is not a real mirror. So when you do, do the design here, you have to be careful. Uh, otherwise, you will not get this option. So when you do the design, always you have to make sure there's a sub, there's a definite constant gap between this face and this face. Actually an offset. You have to keep that offset. Say if it is five millimeters here, here also five millimeters. So you have to do the design carefully such a way that this is appearing. So if you look at this cut extrude here and go to features, uh, you have seen you can see how they have done the design. So they have used this offset from the face and they have selected the bottom surface. So we have done this theory uh, uh, two weeks ago. So when you cut this hole, they have make sure that uh, we have to have always five millimeters away from this surface. So I hope every uh, people who came to the class can understand this. Uh, offset fr sur from surface, that is offset from this surface, and keep five millimeters. So if you just take 10 millimeters, what happens? Now, this will make maintain 10 millimeters from this surface and your child also will uh, get that same propagation. So I have issue here, I will restart my machine. So when you do solid drugs design, please save your work and do sometimes this may happen. Uh, the better you save your work and do. So my point is uh, when you do the cutting here, you have to make sure the certain gap is maintained. Don't use the blind tools. Blind tools will not help you to get this kind of an out. So I will show you with the blind tool what happens next.
suppose I, I, I will change this to blind value. So people will use it blind value. Uh, 20 15 minutes. Now you can immediately see the cut is flat. Cut is flat because it's not offsetting from here. And uh, if I mirror this now, uh, then is this. You can see this appears. So whether you click this button on and off, nothing will change. So you don't get that uh, propagation here. So what happens? When I do the design, I didn't make have that gap here, constant gap. So that's why I taught, taught you those theories a few weeks ago. So offset from surface will do that. Say I will select this space and apply some value, say six minutes. Uh, so offset from surface will get it like this. I'm not getting a preview here. Say so I will press OK. OK, so, so offset from here 6 millimeters. Now, when I apply the mirror nicely, it should appear. Say so I will get it nicely, it should appear. So remember that after, otherwise, this is not automatically happening. This button is automatically not happening if you don't do the design here correctly. That's the whole thing I want to say. That's the whole theory behind it. Any questions about this? So, next uh, one is about uh, visual properties. Now, when you take the mirror, if you want, you can take the visual properties also to the mirror. So, if you open this file, that is, if you have rendered images, rendered models, now this model 8.7, this side is rendered. So if you want, you can get the mirror with the rendered effects or without the rendered effects. So if this is without the rendered effects. So if you just have click this propagate visual properties, that button, your child is also getting that rendered effect. Otherwise, your child will not get that rendered effects. This is the button to get the colors to the children, colors to the child. So this is a simple button, so I hope you can understand that. Now that is all about the features to mirror. Now we selected the entire feature. But if you want, you can select the faces. I said that earlier, when you try to select the faces, you have to select a lot of faces to get that completed. So even for this kind of a simple example, it's going to be difficult. So I will show you with this example. Normally we don't uh, use that face option. So if I take this next file 8.9, uh, feature tool is really easy. So if you just select the plane, features is this extrusion. Very simple. Quickly we can get it. Normally 99% of the time we will use this feature option. Otherwise, if you try to use face option, what happens? Face option. I have to select this face. If, if I select this face only, it won't work because it will not form a cylinder here. So I have to select an, uh, the top face here. Will it form? Yes, now it's formed. So I selected this circumference outer face and the top face. So I selected the two faces. You can see top one and the circle. Now it forms the child in this side. I didn't select the bottom face. So why I, why I should not select the bottom face? So there's a secret behind this. Uh, when you design this cylinder, the parent, this extrusion, you have merged the 
you have applied this screw. You have merged the cylinder with this original base. That tool work. So when you get the mirror here also, that merge tool will help you to not to select this bottom face. So if I unmerge this, what happens? Your child will not fall. I hope you understood. So that those are tricky areas in this software. So many people don't know about this. They just draw something and they just try to get an appearance. That's it. But when it comes to these kind of tricky areas, people are struggling. So when I do this extrusion, this cylinder, I automatically this button is working, merging happen. That's why you got the child in this side. That's why you didn't select the bottom face. I selected only these two faces. If I want to select the third face here, that is not an easy task because it's not visible here. So you have to do what? If you want to select something hidden behind, you have to right click on this and go to this tool here. Select other face and select the bottom face also. So that can be done. So I will do it again. If you want to select some hidden faces, just try take your mouse on top of that and right click and get the other face option and select the other hidden face that can be done now when i take it it won't form because i said that i have i'm merging in this area so you can see how the problems how the problems are here. so i hope you understood what i meant this tool is really important this kit okay just try it and see any questions, let me know. I will take the next option, next file. So here we, we have two separate bodies. These are like humans. This is uh, one person, this is another person. If they touch with each other, they will become a single body. Now here we have two bodies. We have a gap between the bodies. So uh, now we can use the body tool to get the mirror. So we can use the feature tools also. But body tool will be faster. So if you have a lot of features in this body, you have to select all these features. If you have a lot of faces in this body, you have to select all the faces if you use the face option. But uh, if you if you think that this is a single body, just select the single body. That's the easiest way. And get the mirror about that plane. So I need to just select the body only. I don't need to select faces or features. So that is much more faster than the other things. So this can be applied when you have separate bodies on it. Otherwise it won't work. Uh, so I hope you understood how the body tool works. You need to have separate features. There should be a gap. If this is coming and hitting with this one, it will become a single body. So I will do it again. Mirror plane is this body is just select this one quickly it will form if you have 100 features here you don't need to select all the 100 features it has everything in the inside a single body so this is how body tool works now 
Now, if you want, you can use the body tool here even. So when you extrude this one, if you have unmerged this, when you extrude this one, if you have unmerged it, now these are two separate bodies. So there is no merging happen. Even though this is touching, those are not uh, these are not a single body, two bodies, because this is not even though this is touching, these are not merged. So I can use I can try to use the body tool. So you can see body tool works. And the plane is so here also body tool works if you have eyes enough. So if you not merge this one with this one, it's a separate body, even though there is touching. Those are not merged. Uh, two separate bodies. So the body tool is working. But if someone comes and merge this, you will get, you will have the concept working. But I will delete it and do it again. Should not work actually. So we try it. Not now. It's not working. So it acts as, acts as a single body now. So you cannot, you get, you will have, uh, it looks like it's working, but it's actually mirroring this one again. So you can see entire thing is selected. So it's not going to happen. Actually. So please remember you, this, this is really, really important tool in SolidWorks. Even though this is a small tick mark, very, very important tick mark. So when you do a mirror, you can use all these options, bodies, faces, or features. So I hope you understood the concept. Any questions, let me know before I'm moving to the next uh, tool. Okay, we will start the linear tools. So idea is uh, when you have the same pattern moving uh, this side, so I have I cannot draw all the cuts one by one. I can't copy the things one by one. So we better draw one cut and have a linear pattern. So we have done this in 2D sketches. <coughs> but 2D sketches, it's not very flexible. So in 3D, it's very flexible. So I will show you how it works in 3D. Normally try to use these 3D tools as much as possible because there are a lot of <coughs> options available. So here, uh, I am not going to talk about these areas because we don't have time. So you can explore by this yourself. Uh, so in our assignment, we will not give you these kind of things to practice in the assignments. So we will do only these uh, first two, third one also I have done it already. So I will do only these first two because those are the mostly used tools. So these will not be done because I don't have time in your uh, curriculum. So linear pattern I will discuss now. When I start this one, it's asked me uh, the directions. 
earlier in the 2D sketches, he didn't ask me direction. But normally, it took XY directions automatically. Here, we don't have that option. We have to select the directions. So, one direction can be this edge. And uh, the other second direction is this edge. So, even if you don't have edges here, what can we do? So, I may not have edges. So, I may have a circular object. If I have a circular object, I can't select these edges. I have to rely on these planes. So, you can select the perpendicular plane like this. So, it will give me the direction. Second direction is this plane. So, you can see perpendicular to this plane will take the direction. So, if the directions are wrong, you can always flip it. So, you can see how the arrow changes here. Also, you don't need to have edges like this, solid edges, planes are also going to work. Then, uh, I have to select the cut. You can actually select the features or bodies. So I will select the features to pattern this cut. So, this is now appearing. So, now I have to increase the space in here a little bit and number of instances. Say we can apply. Then uh, this is in the first direction side. In the second direction side, nothing appears. So on, you can increase the instances that side also. So I will increase the gap. So this way, we can fill the entire module and press all. So I'm getting a linear pattern like this. So at any time, I can come here, go to edit and do the changes. So I will do it again from the beginning. Linear patterns. Uh, you can use the edges or the planes. Now this time I will use the edges. Or else you will use edge or a plane. Edge and plane both can be used together. Then features this is the cut feature and you can increase the gap here change the direction this way and always you use the up to reference option that is you don't give the gap between the two entities you select this as the reference up to this edge up to this face do the pattern form that can be also done then uh, normally we measure from center to center so that option is available here. so those are the options available but then uh, we have some interesting options available here so for one is called pattern seed only so when you click on this what happens you are getting this L shape always you don't feel the middle area this is called pattern seed in solid works. you are getting an L shape Pattern C2. Otherwise, if you want uh, some areas to skip, there is a tool called Insert Instances to Skip. So you expand this and then click on these circles here. You can uh, skip these instances. So I don't need these areas in the pattern, just skip them. That can be also done. Even though this is a linear pattern, these middle entities or instances are not appearing now. Uh, otherwise, you get the full, fully filled pattern. And there are some other areas, full preview, propagate visual properties. We have done this. Geometry pattern is uh, also not really important here. Uh, these tools are not working at the moment. Vary sketch, instance, 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 instances to vary. So we will look at these options later. Anyhow, any problem, let me know if you have any problems about this basic tool, tell me. So I have a question in there. Excuse me. Yes. Mr. Uh, Chaturga didn't send us the figure, uh, figure 8 package uh, that uh, files. You didn't get it? No. Uh, these part files you didn't get? No, no, not the eight part files. 
from the beginning again take this a15 so uh, I hope you are okay with the mirror tools I, I did it uh, I think you didn't have the part files to practice so better you do it at home uh, and any questions let me know so linear patterns uh, uh, I will do it again, select the directions, two directions, then feature is this cut feature, pattern happened this way. So if you just try to press OK, there, this is the result, so uh, I don't get that correctly. So I have to change the direction, increase the gap, uh, increase the gap in this side also. So we were talking about this uh, pattern seed tool. And some options available here. So some options are not uh, working at the moment. So we will look at what is this very sketch uh, next. So I hope you are okay with this uh, basic uh, cut. Now there are options available in linear pattern. So one is called very uh, sketches. So here if you look at this model i have applied a linear pattern but uh, the instances heights are equal so this is called varying the sketch so i will show you how it works first and i just look at the theory behind this so i will just take the chapter 8 and this is the part by 823 so i hope everyone can design something like this at the moment so when you look at this cut feature the sketches done this so you can see the measurements how they have given the measurement 15 here from this edge is 5 from this edge is 5 these are really important tools uh, in this pairing uh, sketch so here the 10 is given from here to here so this is really also important so it will make sure always there is a gap bit gap from here to here 10 so that 10 is always maintained otherwise the variance sketch will not work so when you do the cut here uh, this is a through all cut through all cut uh, so you have to do the 2d sketch such a way that there is a 10 millimeter gap here. so i will show you what happens when there is no 10 millimeter layer so we will apply the linear tool Direction is now if you select this as the direction one, you can see the pattern appears. So I will increase the length step instances. If you try to press OK, I didn't give the direction to or you don't need to give direction to always because there's nothing going this side. So I don't need to give direction to. So this is the appearance. Only direction one given. No direction to, no need to give direction to because there's nothing inside. Don't need to give. And here, very sketch tool is also not working. So, what happens here is uh, when I select the direction, I made a mistake. I selected this edge. So, this sketch, this edge cannot be very. It's a fixed edge. So, you can't vary the heights from this edge so you have to make sure you don't select the edge here rather than selecting the edge you have to select this dimension 5 so when you select this dimension 5 this very sketch tool now starts to work so there are a lot of ways of selecting the direction one way is you can select the edge you can select the planes as well as you can select this dimensions here so you can select this dimension now this tool works if you just uh, delete this and try to see the edge here this is not working even for a plane it won't work won't work so very very important 
they get this uh, dimension. Give these dimensions correctly and have a fully defined sketch. Now it works and get the full preview. You can see it's work. So very, very tricky tools. If you know the software correctly, these are nothing. Two second work. So I hope you understood. So give the give the direction from the dimension here. If you select this dimension, what will happen? This one. It varies, but it will vary this size. So what happens? There will be a big hole in the middle. Okay. So very very important things I'm telling now. So you can select this dimension. What happens? This dimension will vary. <coughs> then there will be a big hole inside the mode. If you select this dimension, that gap will vary. So that's how it works. And this 10 millimeter is really important. This tool will work. So if someone comes and uh, do a sketch without the 10 millimeter here, so I will delete this 10 millimeter. I will delete. What happens? You don't get that. You don't get that varying tools. So here if you look at this. Still this is working. Because you selected this dimension, it's working. But it won't vary. Because it cannot maintain the same depth. Okay. Even though this, is, this tool works, you don't get that varying tools. So problem here is I haven't given the dimension so we have to give that gap here when you do the sketch you have to make sure this gap is given now it will work we have to do it again because it's not refreshing I think now it's working so so you have to refresh the things and do it. so if I try to do it from the beginning how can I do it So I have a model like this. So this is my model. So I, I have to do a design like this first. So how can I do that? So I hope everyone can do this kind of a design quickly now. So I will quickly do it and show you how it is done from the beginning. So we will uh, draw a simple rectangle. Uh, give a measurement. Uh, now I have to have something like this so what is the easiest tool I can get I can offset this curve from this offset tools. rather than trying to draw it using arc tools try to offset it. offset with uh, dimensions so 10 millimeter offset uh, reverse the direction so when you add dimension tool automatically he will put the 10 millimeter for you so this is the easiest way so we can now use extend tools, extend tools and we can use trim tools and trim the things and get the correct so, so this is how we do it okay so if you uh, now it's a fully defined sketch so we can apply now the cut. Do all cut. Uh, here it's uh, I took the bottom also. Oh, okay, that's not a problem. Then we will take the linear patterns. Direction is uh, feature is this feature. So we have to take this. Yeah. Apply the very sketch. This is how it works. <clears throat> so, really important when you do the parent sketch. This sketch, this cap is really important, and this value should be given from the edge. 
It was in this one. There will be a big hole inside the part. Any questions? Let me know. So these are tricky operations. Uh, when you try to do uh, the third tutorial, you will encounter these problems. So if you try have time, just try to do this third tutorial. This is an engine head shape. So you may have these kind of pins to pull down the engine. So this is a varying sketch. So if I just look at the sketch here. You can draw this kind of one uh, pin and wear it. So when you wear it, uh, you will get this kind of pattern. Very sketch option. So this is a tricky uh, tutorial. So I hope you understood the important thing about this. Otherwise, you have to draw all the things one by one. If you don't know these tools, you have to draw all the things one by one by one. If you have 100 pins, how can you do it? So taking a lot of time so learn these tutorials and try to drive this sketch along this curve using the various sketch tools so this is another example of varying sketch so uh, you can try this thing after the break i will start the other parts so after the break i will start the circular tools and grid tools and we will do the <coughs> Tutorial also with you the second tutorial. So if you have any questions, let me know after the break.